Pakistan and India are in a bitter disagreement again, but this time the situation is escalating dangerously. A few weeks ago, rocket strikes launched from the Pakistani border area hit several Indian army bases. But it is today's announcement that one of these salvo killed a group of visiting British officers. Although Islamabad is denying any involvement with the incident, it has sparked an unseemingly unstoppable series of events. With a public opinion that's now fired up by the desire for revenge and angered by the evasive responses of Pakistan, London has decided to join India in retaliation and deployed its new flagship to the region, the aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth. The carrier is backed up with the supersonic radar-equipped F-35Bs and escorted by the new Type 45 destroyers. British forces are joined by India's new carrier, the INS Vikrant, which has been rushed into service alongside the older ex-Kiev class INS Vikramaditya. Their goal is simple, deliver a punishing blow to Pakistan's armed forces and infrastructures while keeping the risk of a nuclear response to a minimum. In an effort to counter this move, Islamabad has secured active help from Beijing and purchased Chinese-built supersonic sea-skimming missiles specifically designed to hit supercarriers. HMS Queen Elizabeth will be their priority target. A new phase of naval warfare seems to be beginning. Will the carrier strike succeed, or are we witnessing the end of the flat top?